Hey everybody, welcome to my calculus-based cost minimization video. What we're going to do is we're going to do an example of a firm who chooses the optimal allocation of capital and labor to minimize the cost of producing some fixed quantity of a good. So here's what we got. Cobb Douglas production. Our cost function is just R times K plus W times L. That's rental rate on capital and wage for labor. And we have... Uh, a quantity constraint where we're not just minimizing cost because that would obviously be choosing a Q of zero but we're choosing a minimal cost given that we produce at least some fixed level of Q now it just so happens that with our cost function and such that constraint will be binding we'll be finding the K and L that minimizes the cost of producing exactly Q bar so let's set it up uh, we're going to minimize by choosing K and L, our cost function of K and L subject to uh, that our production of K and L equals Q bar. So let me put this, oops, let me put this more in context for us. Minimize over K and L rk plus wl subject to alpha i oh sorry a k to the alpha l to the beta equals q bar all right let's make our lagrangian function l is equal to the objective function goes first R minus k to the alpha l to the beta. All right, with that, we are now ready to choose k and l to maximize to minimize costs. So let's start with dl dk equals r minus lambda a alpha k to the alpha minus one l to the beta. We're going to set that thing equal to zero. DL, D. Oh. I was going to say DL, DL. That's confusing. Let me give these lambdas a fancier script so that we don't get confused between labor and Lagrangian. Woo, look at that fancy thing. All right, DL, DL is equal to W minus lambda A beta K to the alpha L to the beta minus one. And we're gonna set that one equal to zero also. And then our last condition is that lambda Q bar minus A k to the alpha l to the beta has to equal zero. And we know since the constraint is binding, that lambda is greater than one. So we can simplify this as just being that. All right, these three equations give us everything we need to know. First thing I wanna do is I'm going to combine these two. Uh, so let's do that. I'm gonna basically set them not set them equal to each other. I'm going to divide them by each other so that R over W is equal to lambda A alpha K to the alpha minus one L to the beta over lambda A beta K to the alpha L to the beta minus one. Uh, so that came from setting R equal to that, W equal to that, and then dividing each by each. So what's going to happen here, those terms cancel out, which is convenient. R over W is equal to alpha L over beta K. All right, hopefully you're doing okay so far. If not, rewind or something, because I'm moving forward. From this, I can solve for L as a function of K where L is equal to R over W times beta over alpha 
times k. And that ratio will always hold as long as I am minimizing my costs. Uh, cool. Now we can go a little farther. We've got our ratio, but we don't have exact quantities yet. So for our next step, I want to go back to our constraint, and we're going to substitute this result into it. We know that alpha k to the alpha L to the beta equals q bar. Well, that's alpha k to the alpha r over w beta over alpha k to the beta equals q bar. I substituted all of this stuff into my budget, into my, not my budget constraint, my production constraint. That's alpha, sorry, that's A times R over W, beta over alpha, all of that to the beta, and K to the alpha plus beta equals Q bar. From here, I can just solve for K. Let's see, K is going to equal Q bar over A times W alpha over R beta to the beta. And all of that stuff to the 1 over alpha plus beta. And that, my friends, is the optimal level of K, bar, of K that will minimize costs at whatever Q bar we set. Now I can substitute this into my into my optimal ratio, L equals R beta over W alpha, K, which in this case means L star is going to be equal to Q bar over A, W alpha over R beta to the alpha, 1 over 1 alpha plus beta. Uh, obviously, I skipped a step or two there. If you're following this video, I'm sure you can figure that part out on your own. I didn't do any fancy tricks. Uh, so from there, uh, if I want to like solve for my exact costs, I can. Where C of K star comma L star is just equal to RK star plus RL star. Substitute those values in and I will get an actual number of how much it costs to produce Q bar. Uh, but yeah, that's pretty much all there is to cost minimization. It looks a lot like profit maximization. And, oops. and that is a good thing because it's supposed to give you the same result. So, hope this video was helpful. If not, too bad. Good luck either way. Thanks for watching, guys. Yep.